don't usually get involved in day-to-day -day operations, so I'm smurfing undercover. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Robot Chicken made fun of reality shows. Are you ready for this? To meet the man who's plotted in secret to destroy my life all because you offered us a chance to be on television? It makes perfect sense. For this list, we'll be looking at the best sketches that threw shade at programs in the TV genre. What's your favorite robot chicken dig at a reality show? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Truth Behind Catfish 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 co-host Neve Shulman actually stepped into the recording booth to appear in this sketch as himself. It's Dr. Claw. Yes. Yeah, hey, Dr. Claw. So, my name is Neve. I'm actually a friend of Inspector Gadget, and he tells me that you guys have been in some kind of death struggle for about 10 years now. Uh, that's right. And you've never met. I'm shy. Just like the reality show, he arranges the interaction of people who have never met face to face. They use this clever setup to highlight pop culture icons whose faces aren't normally seen. My name is Regina Claw, and I've been trying to kill you because I'm in love with you. Go, go, Gadget Closure. <laughs> <laughs> my enemy, <laughs> my friend. After Inspector Gadget sees Claw's surprisingly handsome features, Charlie's Angels finds out that their mysterious leader isn't as suave as he sounded. Look, it actually makes a lot less sense if I explain it. Charlie, can you come out here, please? Charlie? Noah even finds out that the voice of God was actually coming from a guy with a bullhorn. Sorry, man, I just... <clears throat> I just... I really needed a boat. You've changed my life, Catfish. My name's not Catfish. Catfish is the name of the show. Oh, really? In between the cameos, the sketch pokes fun at the concept of Catfish and the origins of the title. The combination of commentary and creativity made this sketch soar past our expectations. Number 9. Richie Rich's Crib – MTV Cribs I'm Richie Rich and welcome to my crib! MTV Cribs is a reality show where celebrities bring in a camera crew to their homes to show off their various belongings. Within this sketch, Robot Chicken takes us inside the wealthy and obnoxious Richie Rich's house. I got so much money, I even got my dog gold-plated. He wasn't dead, I just wanted him gold-plated. And I guess what I want, I want my dog gold-plated. <laughs> Go paint it down! The classic pop culture character has almost too many ridiculous items to count. Richie Rich has a gold-plated dog, robotic arms, a money-shaped pool, and more. Although these items are supposed to make him look impressive, he tries so hard that he comes off as pathetic. Check it out. I don't make money. I pose for money. You showing off your inheritance, son? Shut up, old money! The simple sketch is a brilliant critique of the celebrities who flaunt their rich real estate to look better. Sadly, Richie Rich's attempt to look impressive just end up making him look more pathetic. Number 8. Beast and the Beauties – The Bachelor During this parody of The Bachelor, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast is given 20 potential partners to choose from. Unlike the reality show, he has to worry about dying if he doesn't find true love. The Beast also has to deal with a selection of extremely quirky contestants. I think I could fall in love with Beast. He reminds me of my cat, Twinkles. He had a very rough tongue. A lot of the comedy centers on the ridiculous personalities of the women vying for the hairy bachelor's attention. However, the sketch also leads into the fairy tale by having an angry mob run through to try and kill the beast multiple times. Kill the beast, damn! Here, am I on TV? This silly parody effortlessly manages to find humor in both of its worlds. We definitely give this sketch a rose for making us laugh so much. The last rose petal has fallen! And so, I die. Twinkles, no! Not again! Number 7. Getting to Paris is hard. The Hills One of the most infamous scenes in The Hills showed Lauren Conrad ending her friendship with Heidi Montag. That's why the Robot Chicken writers just couldn't help forcing the pair together for a skit. It's hard to say you're sorry. You're sorry. See? I just said it. Outside of taking several shots at the duo, the sketch also takes aim at the show's biggest flaws. We are sending you to Paris! Oh my god. Paris? I'm just a girl and Paris is so far away. 
I'm sorry, I thought that song might go longer. The tendency for The Hills to overuse music to underscore the reality show's events is relentlessly mocked. Additionally, the parody repeatedly reminds us that the show totally isn't scripted. We're also sending Heidi. But Heidi doesn't even work here. What are you saying? That this is a scripted show? As an added surprise, the sketch has them cross paths with the villains from The Hills Have Eyes. You gonna skin ya and wear your skin and break you in off and eat you, girl? <laughs> That sounds hard. While it's not clear if the writers were just making fun of the reality show title or really dislike the stars, the parody is unquestionably excellent. Number 6. Fixer Upper Pee Wee's Playhouse Edition Fixer Upper In this sketch, parody versions of Chip and Joanna Gaines are tasked with renovating Pee Wee's Playhouse. But the couple didn't initially realize that a lot of the objects in the house are sentient. Chip, stop messing around! <laughs> I am not messing around, Joanna. That chair hit me. No, I didn't. Every time someone makes an alteration to the house, they cause a lot of pain to the items within. It is both disturbing and funny to see how deeply each and every one of the objects suffer. Today's secret word is asbestos. Asbestos! <laughs> to add another layer of satire, the sketch has the couple strip all the originality and quirks from the house so that the home looks like everybody else's house. It took me 30 years, but I found my bike and... No! I was gone too long! I'm sorry! I hurried as best as I could! Secret word! Yay! While we understand why Pee-wee is so devastated when he returns, we're also laughing at how spot on the sketch was. Number 5. Horror Big Brother Big Brother what if legendary horror movie villains competed in a mundane reality show? Robot Chicken answered that question with this classic sketch. Where the hell's my sweater? Chill out. It's in the dryer. You fool! The label clearly says permanent press! <laughs> horror icons like Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Ghostface compete on a decidedly more macabre version of the show. On the regular show, petty squabbles and differences often just lead to shouting, but conflicts are resolved with violence in this parody. There's also plenty of clever references to all of their respective movies. Hello? I see you making popcorn. <gasps> Who is this? I saw the Charlie's Angels sequel. That was a piece of crap! I'm hanging up! <laughs> to make the sketch feel more authentic, Kelly Hugh plays the famous Big Brother host Julie Chen Moonves. The skit has so much creativity that we wouldn't mind getting a full season of this violent version of the reality show. Michael Myers, they just kicked you out of the house. How do you feel? I feel randy, baby, yeah! Number 4. Undercover Smurf Boss Undercover Boss To get a closer look into what's going on in Smurf Village, Papa Smurf puts on a disguise and wanders around his hometown. Oh, you're my new intern, huh? That's right, Farmer Smurf. Teach me to care about your sad little life. I mean, your noble and fulfilling uh, career choice. Just like Undercover Boss, the blue figurehead tries doing some of his people's jobs. Papa Smurf soon finds that his underlings have to put up with some horrific day-to-day -day issues. Dr. Smurf, why are deductibles so high? Well, you smurf a lot of uppity questions for an intern. Just treat the next patient while I go for a Jamba Juice run in my gold-plated helicopter. Zoom, zoom. By the end of an episode, of Undercover Boss, the CEO who goes undercover tends to learn that his employees deserve to be appreciated and compensated more. However, Papa Smurf isn't so gracious in this version. So, Grouchy Smurf, how's the coffee today? I hate coffee. Oh, okay, but how do you like working here? I hate working here. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, is there anything that maybe Papa Smurf could do? I hate Papa Smurf. Seeing how out of touch he is as he makes life worse for a few of his citizens is a great twist on the reality show's formula. Number 3. Date My Mom Date My Mom This sketch sends up the short-lived MTV reality show, Date My Mom. So tell me about your daughter. She loves reading Tolstoy and Gabriel Garcia Marquez and... Totally. Same. Is she hot, though? The absurd premise saw one person go on dates with the mothers of three potential love interests. Ultimately, the contestant chose who they wanted to go out with based on their interaction with these parents. The robot chicken kept the concept but added animated moms and an incredibly shallow and clueless bachelor to the mix. My final date is with a bear? Seriously? 
You want me to ask them to put up the bumpers? <laughs> okay, okay, no bumpers. This hilarious parody takes full advantage of the show's format, the lore behind each mom, and the fact that contestants don't see the daughters until the end. The final reveal of Jessica and Roger Rabbit's hideous child provides the perfect button to the skit. Give me a kiss! Can I take it all back? Is the bear girl still Please? here? Start making babies, you two. Uh. Number 2. Tia Tequila Parodies Herself It was already amazing to hear Tila Tequila play herself in this parody of her self-titled reality show. LeBaron, you have a shot at love. Are you interested? Yeah! At first, the sketch is another brutal takedown of the show's central premise and the star's wild personality. But the skit really kicks things up a notch when it's revealed that Tila Tequila is actually a robot. Has demonstrated a limited range of emotions, and the emotions are appropriate almost 50% of the time. All right, it's go time. After she malfunctions, the scientists sent to fix her learn that they shouldn't get in between her and her new love interest. The Baron! The <laughs> Baron! The <laughs> Baron? I love the Baron! <laughs> We're not sure whose idea it was to turn the controversial reality star into a knockoff T-1000 Terminator that can morph into a liquid form. However, we're absolutely positive that this unexpected blend of parody and sci-fi works surprisingly well. The Baron is dead. Now I have to find someone else to love. Who will it be? Watch Tila Tequila's A Shot at Love tonight on MTV. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bad Boy Meets Damaged Chick with Daddy Issues, Living Lohan. Breckin Meyer is hilarious as all of the members of the Lohan family. Go to hell, Mom! I told you, I'm not gonna be on your show! It's demeaning to my career! I'm gonna try that again with like 10% more conviction, or possibly 1,000%! American Pickers, Texas. American Pickers. Mike and Frank get more than they bargained for with Leatherface. I got Leatherface to come down on the stove, and even though it cost me an arm, it didn't cost me a leg. That's what I call a good pick. The Pat O'Brien treatment, The Amazing Race. Letting religious deities help out on The Amazing Race was an interesting twist. Oh, Jesus, please help us! Jesus! <laughs> I'm here. I've brought you a tire iron, my son. Scrooge Tank, Shark Tank. Scrooge McDuck plays serious hardball with the sharks. I'll give you two bathtubs of rubies for 25% of the company. I'm sorry, how much money is that? Guess what, smartass? My offer is now one gold rock the size of a goose egg. Is that more or less? Zombie Idol, American Idol. Ryan Seacrest appears as himself in this American Idol slash Dawn of the Dead mashup. Don't forget to vote, everybody. Good night from Zombie Idol. Seacrest, out. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Real World Metropolis The Real World This sketch from the first season shows what happens when superheroes stop being polite and start getting real. But 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 you drew vacuuming out of the job jar and everyone else... Hey, who's gonna save Earth from a giant meteor while Superman's vacuuming? You? <laughs> I don't think so. During the parody, Marvel and DC icons have to try to live in harmony together without starting any super brawls. The sketch makes sure to take shots at every single one of the heroes it features. Naturally, Aquaman gets treated the worst. Come and get it, little guys. Hello? I know you can hear me. I'm Aquaman. Trouble at home? The parody also perfectly recreates the camera shots and confessionals you'd see on the reality show. If you leave your towels on the bathroom floor, we start getting that mildew smell. It's gross! Have a little common courtesy for the rest of us. The bad signal. Watching heroes avoid human shores by claiming they have to go and save someone is an excuse we wish we could pull off. Featuring exaggerated superheroes, great gags, and memorable lines, this real-world sketch is easily one of the show's best pop culture parodies. On my plates! My good china plates! Relax, Wonder Girl. What did you just call me? I, I am the knight. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.